On September 16th, Major General Yahya Rahim Safavi, a top aide to Iran's supreme leader, said that the country's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps has been given exclusive responsibility to defend the Persian Gulf and warned that all four naval forces are within reach of its missiles. Rahim Safavi was quoted by the official Irna news agency saying that responsibility for defending the Persian Gulf has been handed over to the naval forces of the IRGC. In an interview with Fars News Agency, Rahim Safavi added, quote, During time of war, no maritime craft can traverse the Persian Gulf region without being within the range of the Revolution Guard's naval shore-to-sea missiles. The IRGC, which the U.S. has blacklisted over its alleged support for Iran's nuclear and ballistic missile programs, is composed of five branches, ground forces, air force, navy, the Basij militia, and the Quds force. Washington has accused the Quds Force of supporting terrorism by providing material support to the Taliban, Lebanon's Hezbollah, and Hamas, among other groups. Iran has previously warned that it would close the Strait of Ormuz, which flows into the Persian Gulf, in response to any military strike on its nuclear facilities. An estimated 40% of the world's oil supply passes through the vital waterway situated between Iran and Oman. But in July, Vice Admiral Kevin Cosgriff of the U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet said that the U.S. would not allow Iran to close the Strait of Hormoz. The U.S. and Israel have not ruled out a military strike on Iran's nuclear facilities if diplomatic measures fail to halt Iran's sensitive nuclear work. But Rahim Safavi said that Israel does not have the necessary political, economic, and social capabilities to wage a large war, and warned that if the United States were to confront Iran in any way, U.S. forces in the region would face serious danger. The former commander said, quote, The Islamic Republic's armed forces, including the guards and 11 million Basijis, are in full readiness to defend any invasion. Meanwhile, on September 15th, the IRGC and Iran's Air Force began joint aerial military exercises which took place in over half of the country's 30 provinces. Iran held extensive military exercises in July, including naval maneuvers in the Persian Gulf, during which it fired surface-to-surface -surface and surface-to-air missiles.